You done put your trust in Ali. You done put your trust in Ali thinking that by him doing that somehow because it's awkward. It is. It's awkward to ask someone to share it, please. Please, can you share that? No. Nah. I don't, and, and I don't want to be able to owe people stuff. So this is your boy, SQ, acknowledging that I'm the wrongdoer. I shouldn't have hit up Ali or anyone for that matter. To Way of life, SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is just such a such a banger of an idea. Honestly, I'm driving, and I'm just like, hang on a second. Is my failure because I trusted in Ali Dawa? That was the biggest mistake. Trusting in Ali Dawa. That was it. That's the problem. You might be like, SQ, what happened? What happened to you? SQ, is this going to be one of those titles where you're trying to put people's name in? No, I'm, here's the screenshot. Contacted Ali Dawa. And that's the first mistake I made, contacting him. Not because he isn't an incredible brother. Not because he isn't just an awesome human being and just a soft-hearted, genuine brother. That's not the reason. The problem with me trusting in Ali for something that I need, which I'm going to explain in this video, is that I trusted in him to help me find success instead of trusting in Allah. That's what this video is going to be about and how a lot of us do this all the time. A lot of us do this all the time. We're going to get more into this video, guys. If you don't already know, there's some banger videos that you guys got to go check out. Check out some videos over here. Click the cards, guys. They're there. They're good. But today's video is going to essentially be about one of my latest videos, one of my latest social experiments, which is the Quran, Apple Watch social experiment. You haven't checked it out. Go see it or don't see it. Don't see it. You know, I'm not privileged over here. I don't deserve views. People I see in the comments. I love you. I read and respond to every single comments. You know me. I see those comments where they're like, SQ, you deserve a million subscribers. SQ, you deserve a lot more. Let me here to tell you something right now. Though I appreciate it, I know it's coming from a good place. So don't ever think that I don't appreciate it. I do. From the bottom of my heart, honestly, Jazakallah Khair, I do appreciate it. But remember something. I don't deserve anything. You don't deserve anything as well. It's all from the bounties and blessings of Allah. Deserving is a word used by the privileged. We're not privileged. There's no privilege from us. We don't anticipate. I can't be like, I got these many views and subscribers. Now you got to go watch my videos and that's just part putting out garbage. No, I behave and still think that I got like a thousand subscribers. That's how I still think in my mind, in my head. So it keeps the hunger growing, guys. It keeps it. It keeps the flame alive, the amber alive that you keep on going. You don't stop. You don't call in favors. That's what I did. I called in a favor. And Ali being such a gentle, soft-hearted person, of course, bro, no problem. What are you going on about, SQ? Okay, let me talk to you. So as you may know, I do social experiments every now and then. Not every now and then. I do them like every week now. Alhamdulillah. Every Sunday, there's a new social experiment type of video, right? Like there's some type of interaction with a person type of video. So I've made multiple, but in the past month, month and a half or so, I've made a few, right? Uh, the iPad social experiments, go check them out over here. Uh, they've done very, very well. What does that mean? SQ, very, very well. The views were high. Let's just be clear over here. Let's be clear over here. You know, like... We all say we're not doing it for the views, but that's a lie because we all see it. We see the views. We see them. So me sitting over here telling you that I'm not doing it for views is a half truth because I'm not like that's not my intention. I had to check myself and that's what this video is about. It's about me checking myself. Someone wrote in the comment section. <laughs> it was a funny comment. They were like watching SQ argue with himself for 30 minutes. I don't know how long this video is going to be honest to God. I would just speak my, just talk my ish, you know, and just see where this goes. So anyways, I put out those videos and by the color of Allah, by Allah's mercy, no one sharing, like, you know what I mean? Like no one getting up there and helping. By Allah's mercy, the videos do well or have done well, alhamdulillah. This does not mean, this is a message to me, that every time I put out a video, they have to be good and blah, 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 blah. No. I can't control who watches it if the algorithm promotes. I can't control that. All I can control is putting out a banger of a video. That's in my control. So let's move on. I put out the Apple Watch social experiment video. And compared to the first day numbers, compared to every single other video I did, this was the best performing video I had. Okay. 
Alhamdulillah, right? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know where it is now because I stopped. Like I said, I don't, I don't look at them. I don't, it pops up. When I'm doing, so you see these cards that show up over here? When I got to put those cards in, I'm able to click the video. That's when I find out how well the video is doing. I don't go and look through it. All I'm spending my time is answering your comments and, and, and anything that you leave in the comment section below. So drop your comments. You'll hear, you'll hear back from me, inshallah, eventually. Like, I'm really piled. Right now, I've been answering two days ago's comments. So God knows how long it's going to be before uh, this video is uploaded. Okay, anyways. And... For this video, Ali Dawa hit me up saying he loved it. MashaAllah. He loved it. You know how much of a compliment that is? That Ali Dawa, subhanAllah, the, 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 the guru, the master of, of these social experiments, going out there for Dawa and all that, Speaker's Corner, one of, one of many, many people who are doing great things in the field of Islam, uh, not just globally, but also obviously in the UK, hit me up saying that he enjoyed it. So what did I do? I sh I sh you know, you shoot your shot. Hey, bro, if you don't mind, share it. What am I thinking? If Ali shares it, my video will do better. And alhamdulillah, it didn't. Alhamdulillah, it didn't. Why? Because I need to remember that anything only does well if he wants it to do well. That was the lesson that I had to learn. Why isn't it doing well? Well, it's still doing well compared to my other videos, I mean, right? Why is it not doing... Ah, oh, SQ. You done put your trust in Ali. You don't put your trust in Ali thinking that by him doing that, somehow the algorithm, and they're going to do this, and then it's just going to be, and then you're going to get more, and then more. No! I never did that before. Why am I doing that now? You know what I was doing before? Asking Allah to make it good for me and continue to work on others. It's hard to watch your own highlights when you're busy preparing for the next game. I hope that makes sense. I'm not here to watch my highlights and you need to be doing the same too. I see those comments. Some of y'all, you know, you have the Quran channels, you get in the comment section. Hey guys, if you like, please go check out my page. And, and look, I respect the hustle. I respect that. I respect the fact that you see value in my page that you could share in the comment section and you may or may not get some traction. I respect that. I value that. I'm humbled, actually, the fact that my channel can help boost and provide other people uh, with work and with, with subscribers potentially and potentially a larger reach. I'm, I'm absolutely honored by that. I've done it. I, I remember when I was trying to grow my page, not my YouTube, my Instagram. I used to go on people's things and just, you know, tell people to check it out. But then I stopped that because it came off desperate. It came off as in, like, you know, I want people, and, and you know, don't get me wrong, like, I get, I get the intention behind it. I get those who write in the comment section, bro, give me a shout out. I see it, and I, and I respect it, I understand why. I understand why you're telling guys, go check out this video right here. I understand that. But you also have to remember that we need to put our trust in Allah. We cannot be trusting in, uh, you know, people clicking a link, telling people to go check out our videos and stuff like that. We can't be putting our trust in that. We have to put our trust in Allah. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who can help us with our success. Allah is in full control of our success. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, your hustle is wrong, you know, going in the comment section and, you know, telling people to watch. I'm not saying that it's wrong, you know. But I will tell you this much. If you really, really want people to go check out your channel, bring value to this channel. Not my channel, but any channel, right? So if you're going to someone's Instagram page or their YouTube channel and you're writing a comment, you want them to check out your stuff, write a comment about the, 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 the thing that you're watching. Something for that community. And at the end of giving value to people, bring value to them, at the end of that, you put your link, hey guys, look, listen, if you guys are interested, I just released a video over here. Go check it out if you would like. That's a little bit more respectable, right? But you cannot be putting your trust into people's hands or into other people's hands. Sorry, guys, I always got to step to the side because I don't want people to feel awkward or something. I just move away so that people feel comfortable with just passing by me. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to cause people harm. I don't want to, you know, make people feel awkward for uh, having a camera and a dude speaking over there. So just keep that in mind. Um, 
But honestly, that's what this video is about. It's about sometimes how we start relying on people and things and uh, situations and circumstances besides Allah Azza wa Jal uh, to find success. And I promise you guys, you won't. And I want to give a classic example. And maybe I end it right over here. Maybe this is where I want to end it today. I want you to take a look at uh, the, 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 the Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. Okay? Yunus alayhi salam was giving da'wah. He was in, in, in encouraging the good, you know, enjoying the good, forbidding the evil, telling people about the message of Allah. But it had come to a point where the adab of Allah was going to hit them. People aren't accepting the message. He's like, I'm out I'm out of here. I'm leaving, right? So Yunus alayhi salam does what? And by the way, he's leaving without Allah instructing him to leave. He's doing it on his own. He's taking matters in his own charge. Now, look, you got to respect the proactive nature, right? You got to respect the intention. You got to respect that, right? It wasn't, it wasn't something nasty or harsh, but it was hasty. It wasn't waiting for Allah's command. I didn't just, you know, I didn't let it go play out. And then maybe after a few days, think that hey maybe if someone shared it it'd be nice you know and though I shouldn't I don't want to pull favors I could ask someone and they would I don't want to put someone in a situation where they have to say yes to share my videos because it's awkward it is it's awkward to ask someone to share it please please can you share that no nah. I don't and, and I don't want to be able to owe people stuff you know for if you share it out of your goodness sure go ahead but I don't want to ask people for these things you know what I mean I, I feel shy if that makes sense so I was hasty very, very similar to what happened to Yunus alayhi salam. So, Yunus alayhi salam is on a boat. We know the story. Something happened to the boat. People need to get off the boat. At least one person does. So, they decide to take lots, right? Lots like, uh, you know, whoever draws the shortest straw, got to get off the boat. Every single time the lot was drawn, Yunus alayhi salam's name kept on coming up. Like, meaning he kept on getting the short end of the straw or the short end of the stick as we, we, we know it, right? Yunus alayhi salam eventually after seeing it multiple times he realized that this is a part of the sign and plan of Allah this means that I need to get off the boat so he jumps off the boat you know the story that the whale comes and swallows him up okay now Yunus alayhi salam is inside you know, and we know, and if it wasn't for this mistake we wouldn't have learned a very important Powering, powerful du'a that heated up the belly's the, the 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 belly of the whale so much that it caused the belly of the whale to the the whale to spit out Yunus alayhi salam. What was that du'a? Tell me in the comment section below. Tell me that famous du'a in the comment section below right now. Real ones watching this, tell me in the comment section below. Teach each other, teach each other. It's not my job only. Teach each other. So go in the comment section below. You know it. I'm not going to say, I want to say it right now to recite it, but no. But in that dua, Yunus al-Islam acknowledged something very, very important. That there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. He praised Allah. And he acknowledged that he indeed is the wrongdoer. So this is your boy, SQ, acknowledging that I'm the wrongdoer. I shouldn't have hit up Ali or anyone for that matter to share a video. And honestly, you shouldn't do the same. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be hitting up people to share. I get it. SQ, please, can you share this? I get it. I get it. I understand. And I will every now and then. I'll do it. If there's like a very important class, I'll do it. And I'm not suggesting that we shouldn't do that. What I'm saying is that it shouldn't be the first resource that you go to to find success. I hope that makes sense. The first resource is buying your head down to the ground, praying to Allah. That is the number one resource. You want another resource? Fasting. That's an incredible resource. You want another resource? The Hajjit. Incredible resource, right? Between uh, the Iqama and the Salah, incredible resource. Sujood, incredible resource. Not people, not shares, not promos. Those are incredible resources. You get me? So that's this is a word of encouragement to me, and this is obviously uh, a, a a a reminder to me more than anyone else that I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for that. And I had to ask myself. I had to check my intention. 
SK, are you doing it for the views? Are you? Am I doing it for the views? I had to ask myself this question because guess what happens? If you don't check yourself, if you don't ask yourself these questions, if you don't take muhasaba, a self-accountability, if you don't weigh out your, your deeds, if you don't do checks and balances, that's how you could get caught slipping. And next thing you know, your ego's in charge and you're just going down this really wrong path. So really, really honestly ask yourselves right now, you know, like are you using all the resources that Allah Azza wa Jal has given you for your success? Have you? Probably not. And if you, if you aren't, which you probably aren't, go use them. Go use them. And don't trust an SQ. SQ? What am I going to give you? What, what shout out can I give you? Imagine Allah giving you a shout out in the heavens saying that He loves such and such person. Telling the archangel Jibreel alayhi salam that he loves such and such person to tell all the angels, to then tell all of creation that Allah Azza wa Jal loves such and such person. That's a shout out that you and I would benefit from a lot. I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, check out some of my other videos or don't check them out. It doesn't really matter because all I really want is that shout out from Allah. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'm out.